Oui, merci. Thank you. Je serai euh, beaucoup plus bref. I will be very short. <coughs> I thank the Shell Institute to, to, to having organized this conference on this team in Lyon because uh, where it's not where everything starts but where everything ends. The EM Lyon, the club, it's the people uh, which have EM Lyon forever is a club, is part of a much, much larger organization, which is, which are the uh, the people which have have diplomas <coughs> at the, the school. We, of course, our, our aim is to organize discussions as this. EM Lyon forever brings together former students People are not members as such for people who, who come from other areas and schools. It's an open club. We can do work together in partnerships. This is, it goes through LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, all these platforms where you can type in the keywords. The content is always interesting. News from the network. There, on the China Club, there are 20 issues on, uh, on automobiles, on environment. There's also a cluster, a geographical cluster, <coughs> the largest being Lyon, the one of Paris, about 8,000. Uh, this is the, the structure, the hard core of the structure. Eight thousand in around Paris, four thousand in Lyon. There are twenty six twenty six thousand former uh, students. There are more than a hundred and two regions in the world, of which three in France Paris, Ile de France, Lyon and others. Um, Lyon Forever is a typical, it has 10 members of the board, it's an international commission. and uh, govern uh, the management commission. <coughs> Looks more like a big company. club and the association do common events and demonstrations. The last one 
was November 2015 on the theme of education in China. The Embassy of China has been a co-sponsor of uh, this event and intervened through his, his uh, minister. There's, there's, uh, there are exchanges of students between China and France via this network. There's a campus in Shanghai where our role is to inform the Frenchmen studying there and about what China is all about. Uh, it is a club. which is a more like a pedagogical, which, which does a very large pedagogy, especially about China, Southeast Asia, and Our aim is to have much better information than what people find on the internet, but to have really fundamental insights into China. Uh, you need a uh, What has been what's been said tonight is is for me one of these fundamentals which is the Silk Road policies which which should be really understood. These are very solid fundamental issues. Uh, which should be given to people, those who are willing to understand China. We're also a business school. We especially want to to combine business public with ordinary citizens. And to do a policy of networking. That's what I wanted to say.
We were the first uh, school to have a campus in Shanghai. We're going to animate a new campus in October, November. Also in Paris. In Paris. It's not a partnership, it's a real campus. The other aim is to get people to participate in the club. We want to be very simple. So there are three regions, <coughs> Châteauroux, Le Havre, and Grand Ranch, where there is there's a Franco-Chinese cooperation possibilities. And there he thinks he can be useful and organize things and give information. That means conferences, business conferences, evenings of networking and cultural events. The knowledge of China also has to be promoted through the, the knowledge of the culture. Then there's the gastronomical aspect. It's a funny approach, which can be marginal, which we can be very interesting. In there's a real China in Paris because the diaspora is is very important. It's a very rich uh, food cooperation. This also merits to be known. To participate in this conference between 60 and 100 people, or even smaller, like exhibits. Yeah. <laughs> 
So most inter people who intervene are businessmen, people from the employers' association. Was a conference on the water in China with people from Veolia. The number two man of Veolia in China. Was an economic and social audit of China when Xi Jinping became elected president on the uh, on the shipping etc etc <coughs> we always develop two partnerships if you want to be invited I can invite you if you have ideas of teams to be dealt with. We're very demanding to do it in Paris or in Lyon, or to do it elsewhere in France or even in Shanghai. From the moment an idea is good, a project can be built around it. And we don't limit to, so we can have exchanges between France and Shanghai.